Hi, I'm Randy Vance. I'm in Beaufort, North Carolina on Grady White's brand new 326. This is the Canyon Series and it is a hardcore fisher with plenty of luxury cruising features on board as well. I'm going to walk you through this boat starting right now with the helm station. Now the first thing you're going to notice on this helm station is the generous amount of shade thanks to the hard top. The superstructure is beautifully painted, glossy and very durable. I love the helicopter acrylic wrap around windshield that goes all the way to the top so you're going to stay dry in the roughest conditions. To add even more shade to the boat, Grady White's put in the electrically activated SureShade system that protects the cockpit from the sun. On the dashboard, there's room for two new 17-inch Garmin GPS displays, and these are loaded up with all of the latest sonar and radar. To the right is Yamaha's command link gauge. You've got joystick steering, which includes set point and drift point settings to make your fishing even easier. And you've got electronic throttle and shift, which is super smooth. Couple that with power steering, and this boat is a breeze to drive. Now the switches are aligned across the top where they're easy to reach and to see, and I like this carbon fiber look that's behind them. The compass is perfectly positioned to make steering easy. You use your compass for steering and your GPS for navigation. Now as efficient as the helm station is, it's comfortable. You've got three wide bucket seats here with flip up armrests, fold down bolsters, and each seat adjusts fore and aft individually. You've got footrests below each one, and there's a step on the front of the console to brace yourself on in extremely rough weather. I like the fact that it's convenient for the rider as well, thanks to the cup holders, a position here to keep your cell phones, and there's two USB charging ports as well. Now Grady White has built their reputation making hardcore fishers, but they do it with plenty of luxury on board. For the angler though, you've got a 10 foot 9 inch beam that gives everybody plenty of room to move around in the cockpit. At the back of the leaning post, you've got a freshwater sink for prepping bait. On the starboard side is the standard fish box, but this one is optioned up for its 38 gallon live well. Now Grady has a patented plenum in those live wells that gives you a wall of water circulating around your live well to keep your bait alive. Underneath on the port side, you've got the optional refrigerator and on the starboard side, there's tackle storage. Now our 326 is equipped with the optional tow pylon, but if you go standard, that's gonna be a shotgun rod holder adding up to 24 rod holders, counting the eight in the hard top, eight in the gunnels, three underneath the starboard gunnel, and four more down in the head compartment. Now a lot of times it's the details that make everything work for fishermen on board. And one of the things that I like is the way Grady styles their tow rails into the gunnel so that you can hook your toes under them, and lean out, and gaff your largest quarry. There's even more on board for the fishermen, like the 32-gallon standard live well with their patented plenum. In the center, you've got a 318-quart fish box, which we happen to be using for cold drinks today. There's a tuna door on the starboard side of the transom for bringing your biggest catch aboard, and there's a standard dive door on the port side with the removable reboarding ladder. After a full day fishing, fold down the transom seat for a relaxing ride back to shore. When you come to the bow, you'll see what Grady means when they talk about luxury. These thick cushions here make this a great sunning area. The bolsters on the sides flip out to give you forward-leaning lounges. Take all the cushions away and stow them and you've got a hardcore fishing deck. Underneath these two hatches are 180 quart fish boxes that drain overboard by gravity. Lift up this hatch and you've got access to the windlass. There's controls to the right and down on the deck is a fresh and raw water outlet for cleaning the anchor and road. Now there's even more luxury seating on the front of the console with this double wide bench. To add even more convenience to the Canyon 326, Grady has equipped this large compartment with Corian surface, freshwater sink, a china flushing head, and various compartments to store your gear and to keep your boat organized. Now Grady makes this boat as easy to operate as it is fishable. You've got remote seacock levers that make it easy to open and close seacocks without climbing down in the bilge. You've got easy access to your battery switches and your circuit breakers right there at the transom door and the starboard gunnel. Altogether, Grady has done a great job of making this boat an exciting fisher with plenty of family cruising features on board and a tow pylon for pulling the kids on tubes. I'm Randy Vance. We are in Beaufort, North Carolina with the Grady White Canyon 326.